threading the upper thread correctly. To bring the needle to the correct height position, the needle up down button can be pressed. The presser foot must always be up when threading. Is this not the case? The tension discs are closed and the thread cannot lie in between the discs. The result is no upper thread tension and too much thread is pulled down at the first stitch and causes a thread nest. Only when the presser foot is raised during threading, the thread can lie between the tension discs and is detected by the upper thread tension when the presser foot is lowered. First, place the foam pad and then the thread on the spool pin. Fix with the appropriate spool disc so that there is no gap and the thread cannot get tangled anywhere. Hold the thread slightly tight with both hands and pull it through the rear thread guide. Test whether it's correctly in the thread guide. Follow the numbered markings and guide the thread through the pre-tension. Place the thread in the open tension discs. Guide the thread downwards around the take-up lever cover and back up again. Thread the take-up lever from right back to the left front. Make sure the thread is properly hooked in the thread take-up lever. Guide the thread through the guides at the bottom of the take-up lever cover and at the needle bar. Then let go of the thread end. Push the needle threader lever halfway down and bring the thread from back left to front right around the grey guide. Push the needle threader lever fully down. This brings the tiny hook through the needle eye to catch the thread. Guide the thread from left to right through the needle threader slot. If available, pull the thread over the right thread cutter. The thread has exactly the correct length to be pulled through the needle eye. For models without cutter on the right side, you may hold the thread lightly with the right hand. Slowly release the needle threader so that the thread is pulled through the needle eye. Place the thread under the foot to the back. Bernina, made to create.